Ay, ay, ay. All I bitch who is your mess, ay. Can't keep my dick in my pants, ay. My bitch don't love me no more, ay. She kicked me out on life, bro. So at this point, we got to hear more dialogue from Iris. Uh, she's angry about Barry taking her to the future, about taking Nora to the future. Which, okay, yes, that's understandable. Like I said, he shouldn't really took her there because now she can actually work with Reverse Flash without any consequences. Because really, the only main thing that she would have time traveled for was to go see Reverse Flash. And now that she can do that, you know, anytime she wants, it's like she's gonna become Inertia, right? Except she's not a clone of Reverse Flash and. It's actually an Alan who's going to be turned evil. Now, I feel this is going to be a play on the comic book where Barry's kids turn completely evil. The Tornado Twins, uh, they end up becoming evil because at this point, this is a time where Barry is so, quote unquote, portraying his kids because he died, which it technically was not Barry's fault. Like Barry, okay, yes, he did decide to stop the anti-canon I mean, the monitor cannon. But I mean, no one else had the powers to do it. Superman was off doing something else. So, like, Barry was like, the only fastest man alive to actually do something about it. Um, so, and, and then we got to see my, my boy Ralph. My boy Ralph as in that super suit. Um, yeah, but like, um, we're seeing Iris in the time sphere. Uh, she's, she's getting that. She's getting ready. And we, this is actually the very first time Barry and I was got really like in a serious fight. And to me, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of scary. And I'm going to tell you why. First off, we need Wally for one of these episodes. They say we're really going to get Wally for three episodes. We only got him for one. Okay. And I'm going to be honest. This would have been a great episode for Wally to actually be in. This episode would be a good episode. And I'm going to tell you why. Because this episode deals with Nora, Iris, Barry, right? The West Allens, right? This deals with them. Wally is a Kid Flash, right? He's Iris's brother. He's also the uncle of Nora. He can actually step in and help. He can somehow help. Plus, this could be his first time fighting with Reverse Flash, by the way. Like, come on, bro. Wally got a speed now. Nah, he can he can fight with Reverse Flash. Why did making my voice on the sidelines? I have no idea. But uh, yeah, this is like the first serious fight they really got in, and. I know I know that we were going to get this one day because I think he actually said that one like they, they actually said that Barry and Iris would end up getting in a fight over how they raised Nora, like something along the lines of something that had to do with Nora, like they would get in a fight because of that. And I didn't know it was gonna be like this intense. Like I thought it was going, you know, argue what time she goes to bed, what does she eat for breakfast, like dinner, lunch, like that all the type of stuff like all parents do, you know. Like, that's something I was really going to argue about. But, like, this is, like, some serious stuff. This, this point, um, Thawn and Nora, uh, they both have a motive. And this is something that <laughs> my girl over at Mary Thrill, uh, this is something that she said. She said uh, that Barry lied at the candle last episode. or the, Yeah. But he said, you're going to get what you deserve. You thought you were smarter than us. You lost. You don't do that because now he's going to want to get even. I honestly feel like for once, he didn't have a motive until now. And I don't know if you guys seen the video or not, but if you haven't, you know, link in the description. Go check my, my go check them out, bro. They're good. Um, but um, uh, that um, that because he said what he said to Thon, it caused for Thon to get a motive that... At that point, Thon was probably doing something, which to me, okay, it does kind of seem like Thon was actually doing something good from his heart because as you've seen in the episode, he actually didn't want to take Nora under his wing. He actually did not want the, nothing to do with Nora, but um, he ended up helping her anyway because he knew how many times he her father, which is something that he allowed. So I, I do think that he did it from the bottom of his heart, but still, again, that doesn't mean that he would end up becoming a good guy, which he probably, he probably wasn't, he, I, th I think he was only going to help her as long as, you know, helping her father goes, or saving him, and then after that, he would have been completely done with her, he wouldn't have seen her no more at that time, but it was just like a memory thing, um, this is actually going to be cool, seeing Iris go to the future like this, um, yeah. yeah. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye! Okay, now uh, we have Iris saying that she didn't get a chance to say goodbye, which she didn't. But like I said, Barry was in the he 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 was in the heat of the moment. You know, at that point, Barry just wasn't thinking too clearly because 
Barry has always had his his truth broken with everybody that he tried to be friends with. And that's the, I think that's like the one thing at this point that Barry just starts to regret is that he always give people trust. Like he always trusts them no matter what they say. And then at that point, he just, when, when he finds out the truth about it, he just clicks like, you know, like, okay, in the past three seasons, too, because Savitar doesn't really count as a true, as like as, as a broken trust, you know, because like that was him all along. It doesn't really count, but um, no, like in, in like those two seasons, Barry trusted two evil speedsters who he suspected. No, no, no. first off, the the first one he didn't suspect because he loved them so much. He he idolized him. So that time that went over his head, right? Zoom. He trusted him so much, and when he found out that he was actually evil, it just Barry just couldn't, you know, he just couldn't deal with it, right? I mean, he didn't go beyond crazy like what he did with Nora. No, he went beyond that at this point because at this point, Wally was captured and they made a bargain. Yo, man, yo speed for my boy, for, for Wally. You give me, you give me a speed, son. You get Wally back, this, that, and the other. I don't want nothing else beside that. Like, he saved, he did that to save Wally because... Wally is now a part of the family. Like, you know, Wally is, you know, a part of the family. So he had to help him. And it's like, when, when, I don't see me like, how come Savitar doesn't count? Look, look, Savitar doesn't count because you can't really break a trust with yourself. Like, that is not how, you know, trust works. Okay, he did kind of, he was in shock when he found out that, you know, Savitar was him. Like that's all it really was. It was more so of a promise being broken. That's basically what it was. If you think about it, because he, he okay, he, we never seen him promise himself on screen. But trust me, just because we don't see the world or the Flash does not mean that it ends up stop moving. Come on, Barry could have made a promise to himself after he had his powers that he would not, clearly would not go down a dark path or, or kill anyone. Like that's what Barry could have did. And at that point, when he saw himself kill Iris, it was like. You know, it was like a promise being broken, something that he probably made a long time ago, you know. But uh yeah, so we have this scene with Iris. She's she's seeing Nora. Nora's kinda shocked, like, Mom, what are you doing here? Thon is there, you know, Thon sitting in the background all the time, you know. Always the back man. I just noticed that. But um Iris is coming in telling Nora, you know, that her dad was wrong, uh, this, that, and the other. You know, we don't get to see Barry's reaction to none of this. So at this point, we're assuming that he's on his way coming to the future, that he's not here yet. So, yeah. All right, so we see Nora's boots, which always is glorious. Her feet are actually small, though. I'm not even going to lie. Nora has some small feet. Um, Her hand, she has lightning coursing in her hand, too. We have Thawne just sitting in the background. Yo, I think Thon is going to be the one to tell her to not be mad with her mom. I hope he, in order to show that he's trying to become a better person, they need for him to say something that's going to actually, you know, get to Nora. Because at this point, Nora only trusts Thon. Like, she doesn't trust her dad. She doesn't trust her mom. She trusts nobody on Team Flash. She doesn't trust none of her family. It's like, at this point, Thon is the only person that she would really listen to. So Thon, knowing that he's going to die, needs to say something that's going to snap Nora out of this trance that she's in and help her realize who she was. Something I just noticed I forgot to mention is that in the last episode, Thawne ended up saying, uh, can you please not be mad at your daughter? That's like a dying man's wish. I just noticed, and I, how did I just not remember that? Oh my gosh, he said that in the last episode. I don't, I don't think I touched up on it in my, in my reaction. I probably didn't. I don't know. But um, yeah, uh, so I wanted to say something that's gonna, you know, Get to Nora. That's gonna be like Nora. You can't. You can't be mad with your mom. You know, because really, Iris didn't really say much of anything to Nora that that offended her in any type of way. She was actually the only person. Her, Cecile, Caitlin, were the only people who actually wanted to give Nora a chance to explain herself. So for Nora to sit here and be mad with Iris, is completely out of the blue. That's like what happened last episode when everybody was mad at Sherlock, which I kind of was offended by. I was like, bro, why are you mad at my boy Sherlock? What did he do? You know, it's like. Like what I mean, Sherlock, what he couldn't tell you guys about the simple fact of Noir betraying you because first off he did wanting out Iris would have stopped him. Uh he wouldn't have had all the facts or the proof. We know which 
In Team Flash, if you don't have the facts of the proof to prove that someone is lying, you're considered crazy. Better. It's like so much stuff would have happened if he would have said this stuff a little earlier. Good thing he didn't, and good thing he continued on to the very end, all right? So um, we have Nora saying, when you stop loving me, and I I, I don't think she's talking to Iris. Okay, I'm one thing, I, I think that they're, they're trying to make you assume that, oh, yeah, yeah, Nora's talking to Iris. You know, she's trying to, you know, trying to do something that she might regret. But, uh, no. Why would Nora be talking to Iris? What did Iris do? Okay, now look, at this point, we 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 have both of them in the, in the, in the prison, right? They're, uh, they're both in the prison. But trust me, Barry could have ran in, act was going on or something, you know, said something to Nora. Then she could have came up with that line. Okay, we don't really uh, know if she's really talking to Iris. Like, they, they're... They're trying to make you think so that you can be more worried about what Noah's going to do next. Like, that's basically what I think it is. I don't really think they're trying to make you assume that, um, you know, Barry and Iris or Barry and Noah are having this conversation. So, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, but that went by a little too fast. But your boy, your boy, your boy got you. Uh, okay. We have Barry. We don't know what's going on back here. He's probably fighting Cicada. He's probably finding Cicada at this point. I don't know. But, uh... But, uh, yeah. That was my review on episode 19, Snowpack. Which really sounds like a Caitlyn-centered episode, which I think it actually is. I think Caitlyn was supposed to have two episodes that were centered around her and her dad and her mom and all that. Uh, we did not get to see her mom in the last... Caitlyn centered episode. Um, this is actually the first time we. This is actually the first time we get to see her mom back in season five. Since uh, season uh, what three? Uh, does she appear in season four? I don't think so. I don't think her mom appeared in season four. So this will be the first time she'll be back on the show in season five. Uh, it's really good, really cool. Uh, this episode is really, really, really going to have a lot of drama, a lot of action scenes in it too. Uh, I'm kind of afraid for Iris, and I'm also afraid for Barry. Uh, I'm not afraid he's going to get behind whooped. I'm just afraid that he's going to do something that he might regret. Uh, knowing Barry, because it's his daughter, he's not going to hurt her. He's he's really not. If anything, he's more so going to try to restrain her and more so trying to, you know, keep a far distance. You know, that, that like, that's what he's going to do instead of trying to, you know, um, you know, injure her or, you know, badly in any type of way. So, yeah. How long is this? My gosh, 17. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you off right here because that's all I want to talk about. Uh, I will be doing a Flash movie video idea. And I will be doing a how I feel about them cutting down a Tetris uh, Flash-made game that got to them, like, what, like, a year ago, I think. So it's, like, really late. But, like, I still want to make a video about it and give you my piece on how I feel. Uh, but, yeah, so hope you guys like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notification. Um, also, go check out my Instagram. It's going to be on the screen right here. Uh, go check on my Snapchat when I get one. But I'm just gonna put it on the screen right here just in case if I get it right after I make this video. So, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, another video. Peace.